This is Draco Malfoy. I think my name was funny, do you? But his actual name is Tom Felton. Tom. Tom. And he is now legally my best friend. He is. My best mate. But why do I want him to be my best friend? Well, I grew up reading Harry Potter, but whilst everyone else was obsessed with Scarboy, Potter. I saw myself in Draco. We were both cool, we both had the same haircuts, we both ran to our fathers whenever there was the slightest inconvenience. Wait till my father hears about this. So, what if I wrote a contract between myself and Tom Felton that said that we were best friends? Got the contract here. And got him to sign it. Just trying to get a few signatures. Mm -hmm. That would fulfil a childhood dream and legally make us best friends. But little did I know that this mission was going to take many months, a lot of stress, and a little magic to work. It has gone literal disaster. So I have done this kind of thing before when I legally became my parents' favourite child. No, 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 no. Take that, sis. So I do actually have a contract guy who could help me create this legal document. Hello, Mr. Contract Man. I might need another contract making. Yeah, I mean, uh, what, what does contract entail? I would like to make Tom Felton my best friend. <laughs> um, okay. I don't think friendship is really codified in, in, in law in that way, but if someone wants to put down on paper they're your best friend, sign their name to that, then yeah. That's the spirit. We then got about stating the terms of what it means to legally be best friends with someone, which includes adding each other to close friends on Instagram, going for one pub trip a year, and finally, saying happy birthday, even verbally or digitally. It was all going swimmingly well until the contract man pointed out a flaw. Are you is it, you're not trying to mislead the, the other party here, are you? No, not at all. Right, right. Okay, because it, obviously if you do that, then then they can then contest if someone signs something and they don't know the terms they're signing to but he wouldn't he wouldn't he wouldn't contest it because we're best friends <laughs> well, uh, yes but I mean, that's not what that's not contract what contract best friends do. do that shut contract man right up and the next day we had a physical contract ready to go got the contract here what i have done where you sign the contract there is a big old space which allows me to if i fold up the contract where he signs just like a piece of paper. It was now time to try and find Tom and get his signature. Now, he's a very talented man. He's a musician, an actor, and an author. But my best bet, I thought, to meet him and get him to sign the contract was to go to the play that he was in in the West End. So off the Piccadilly Circus I went to find Mr. Felton. I promise I'm not in Amsterdam. I was at the theatre. Here we go. I'm here. But I knew my first challenge was to find the stage door, where all actors leave the theatre after a performance. Hello there. They're often really hidden, literally in the middle of the Piccadilly Circus. So, literally any door could be the door to the stage door. So this has made things quite difficult. I think we get back to where I was. I was essentially just aimlessly wandering around, pointing at big doors. But then a random collection of people caught my eye. Excuse me, is this the stage door? Yeah, who are you waiting for? Have a guess. Tom Felton. Tom Felton. <laughs> yes. These were the people with all the knowledge that I needed. And they also seemed to have intimate knowledge of all the architecture. Does he sometimes go out a sneaky way? Is there another way? There's like three, is there? There's four. There's four. I was in with the door detectives, and they also told me that it was actually Tom's last night in the role, so it was expected to be busy. And knowing that I was in the right place, I did what every good British person does, and I got in the queue. I think you were queuing. The show hasn't even finished yet. So, I'm there. It's my best friend. It was then just a waiting game. I had the contract and I was in the right place, but as the show ended, the number of people in my queue ramped right up. It's not looking good that he's going to come out. We've been in for like 20 minutes. We're getting more and more like people are leaving essentially. But we'll wait here. I kept waiting and people would get very excited with any activity from the door. Eventually, however, as the hours ticked by, I was the last one left and there was still no sign of Tom. Right, I've had it. I was there to the very end and yeah, no sign of him. We'll make it happen. I just need to think of a new plan. And that plan consisted of a t-shirt. Oh, fantastic. And a golf course. Let's see how this all goes.
With Tom no longer performing on the West End, there didn't really seem to be a way in which I could get him to sign the contract. And I'll be honest, I thought all might be lost, and this vid slightly passed me by, and I went and did some other things. I got a presidential pardon from the head of state of Gibraltar. Probably the highlight of my entire career. I hid a goldfish worth a hundred thousand dollars. It's worth quite a lot of money. And I went on tour with my stand-up show. There's still tickets left for my final date in London on the 3rd of November. Get tickets quick, there's only 10% left. But then I had something fall right into my lap. And it was almost too good to be true. Sometimes in YouTube, things just fall right into your lap. Um, and this is one of these moments. So a couple of weeks ago, I was asked to play in a golf event, but they've just announced at the golf event that Tom Felton is gonna be one of the guests at the golf event. I thought this vid was dead. I thought it was in the water, it was done. But this is, this is the chance, this is the opportunity. It's just luck, just luck sometimes. Um, I now need to think of what I'm gonna do to get him to sign the contract. And so I needed to think outside the box. I didn't want to go to this snazzy and awesome event with a piece of paper, so I decided to get the contract printed on a t-shirt. Oh, fantastic. That way I could wear that t-shirt under my golf shirt, and if I bumped into Tom at any point throughout the day, I just needed him to sign my shirt. Right, it's on here. I don't really know where I'm meant to go, but I'm just gonna kind of wing it. You can see. Got the contract underneath there, so we'll see how it goes. The event was a shotgun start, which meant Tom and I started playing at the same time, but on different holes. So essentially, we were chasing each other around a golf course for four hours without ever interacting. My best bet to meet him was that I would bump into him after the round, but it wasn't looking good. It's not to get a little bit nervous. Can't seem to see him anywhere. I worry that he has gone which would be a literal disaster. Not a good start, not a good start. And then, after the round, out of nowhere, there he was. This was my chance. Tom, 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 Tom sorry, quick. Happy okay? Yeah, Thank course. you very much. Cheers, just, just right? yeah. Thank you very much. Just trying to get a few signatures. I need the pen. Oh, sorry. Right. Yeah, yeah. No worries. Who have you got so far? Uh, just yourself. All right. You're the best. Thank you very much. Cheers. So, here it is. One best friend agreement signed by Mr. Felton. To make this legally binding, I need to sign the other half because it's a contract between the two of us. I just need to sign it. Just like that. We're best friends. Now, with this contract signed from the both of us, Tom, I think it's important that at least some of the duties are carried out. I'd love for you to uh, do any of the following as my best friend. Uh, it means your close friends list on Instagram, say happy birthday once a year, or we could go for a beer. Either way, Tom, see you in a bit, best mate. But as we all know, friendship is a two-way street. And as your best friend, Tom, I happen to know that the day this video is released is also a very special day for you. It's your birthday. So without further ado, I give you best friend agreement stipulation 1B. And I have hired a choir to make it all happen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Tom, have a wonderful birthday. 